Hello, this is Mark Moore with another Excel tip. And this one deals with pivot tables and what's called the pivot cache. Pivot cache is C-A-C-H-E, not C-A-S-H. It's a different type of cache. And what that means is that pivot tables remember stuff. And that is how they're so fast at retrieving. But sometimes it can be a little bit annoying. So what we have here is in this file, it's a very small database where I have sales by region. I built a little pivot table over here in G3, and you can see basically it's just the aggregation of everything. Okay, you just hit refresh, no big deal. Now, watch what's going to happen. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to copy this and just paste it over here as values. And I'm going to get rid of this cell. So there will be nothing in international. I'm even going to resize the table to make sure that there's nothing in international. When I click on the pivot table, I right click and I click on refresh. International disappears as it should disappear. But if I click on the drop down, international is still there even though it is not in the data set because a pivot table remembers the options that used to be there. So this can cause problems when you have a pivot table and the data has changed and then you're in a meeting or something and somebody says, oh, what are all of our regions? And you're like, well, these are all the regions we have data in. And well, that's not quite correct because the pivot table remembers that. So how do you clear that out? It's in the pivot table options. I'm going to hit cancel. Click anywhere in the pivot table. Right click. Go to pivot table options. Go to data. In data, you want to look at this area. Retain items deleted from the data source. By default, it puts it at automatic. You can put it at none. So it will not remember any items that were deleted from the data source. Click on OK. And now when you click on this, international is still there. OK, we have to refresh. So I'm going to hit cancel, click on refresh. And now international is gone. You add international back, it will show up. So that is how you get rid of the old items that are going to be in the drop down when you select the row or the columns. If you want to learn more Excel tricks and tips, you can check out my online Excel school at mastering-excel.teachable.com or all of the Excel lessons. I have in ebooks and print on Amazon.